we've all had different phases in our life, and they can be different kinds of phases. For example, like gaming, music, uh, celebrities, YouTubers, you name it. Um, some uh, phases that people go through, they get made fun of. For example, goth, furry stuff. Not saying it's a bad thing or anything. I'm just saying a lot of people get made fun of it, beca made fun of because of their phases that they go through or like their interests, and it bugs me very badly. Um, I have tons of different phases, and I don't remember them all in order. So I'm just going to list some phases that I remember that I had, and some that I still have currently to this day. Before I get started, I'd like to say shoutouts to the New World. He's a new subscriber on my channel, and I hope you guys check him out. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. So please go subscribe to him. His birthday was also yesterday, so it would probably make him pretty happy if you guys go went to the go went to go subscribe to him. He makes guitar guitar tutorials for like anybody. It can be like you can be beginner to advanced. It can be anything. Um, uh, so yeah. Please go subscribe to him, and, um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna get started. He's, he's very nice, so I, um, how I know that he's very nice is because I, my sister was doing a live stream on Instagram yesterday, and he was in it with us, and he's very, very, very sweet. I, he's... Nice and kind. He's nice. He's, he's awesome. So, uh, Yeah. The reason why I made this video was because I was going through my favorite videos playlist. I've seen some of you have gone through some of my playlists too. It's not a bad thing at all. I'm still A-OK -okay with you looking through my playlist because no, I don't have anything disgusting in there. Some videos of curse words in it, sure, but that's my kind of stuff that I listen to. Or watch. So, I was going through my favorite videos playlist, uh, playlist and I'm just like, whoa, jeez, I had a big... Undertale phase. So, first thing, my first phase that I remember having was Undertale. Now that I just thought about it, that wasn't actually my first one. My first one was DC. Yes, DC Comics as in like Batman, Catwoman, stuff like that. My favorites were Catwoman and Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn and because of this, I've mentioned this a ton in my videos, one of my friends, uh, he doesn't go to my school anymore, sadly, but, um, he would draw those three together for me because I just found him as an awesome artist. Like, he's top, uh, he, like, he's better than me, kind of stuff. So, he would draw those three together for me, and I got inspired to draw, and look at where I'm at right now. So, without him, I probably wouldn't be able to draw so well as in, I, I, would, I probably wouldn't be able to draw as well as I can now. So, thank you. I don't want to say his name because I don't know if he doesn't want me to say his name or not, but he's a very nice kid. So, thank you for inspiring me to draw. Um, so, that one was like a light phase. Um, what I mean by that is like a light as in... Ow. <laughs> I just hear ringing in my ear. Oh, frick that. That's the second time today. I do too. No, you don't. Yes, I do. That hurt. Okay, so anyways, um, I, I remember one question I asked him, I was like, do you trace off of the computer? And he's like, no, that hurts the computer. I'm like, oh, because I've, I've always done that because I bet I was bad. I was bad at drawing, to be honest, back then. And I'm just like, I want to learn how to draw. So instead of learning and doing tutorials, I just did, I just traced it. But now I am very well at drawing and I don't trace too much. I do use bases sometimes, but not too much. Okay. So, um... Look. What? I'm underground. Cool. So, after that DC phase was my Undertale phase. Yay! Okay. Undertale is a dead game, as they all call it, but I don't say it's dead. I like to, um, watch, like, the Disbelief Papyrus, but I want to die. I like to watch those kinds of compilations because they're so friggin' funny. I recommend you guys watch it if you love loud memes and stuff like that. It's very funny. Um, I don't like, I almost watched it one this morning. It was, like, it was a different type of sans, but it was, it's hilarious. Trust me. Well, you guys find different things funny, so, um, yeah. 
my undertale phase was pretty i wouldn't say it was a heavy phase it was like in the middle kind of because um i saw metatonic x i'm like ooh, he hot and so i'm just like i had humongous crush on him and i would just draw pictures of him and i still have some i just don't know where they are and i'm fine with showing them but at the same time i'm not but i don't know where the pictures are at so i can't show them uh <laughs> There was one picture I drew of him lifting his leg up, and he was, like, blocking one of my comic book characters, Phoenix, and... I hate that drawing. <laughs> Somebody thought that he was sticking her his boot in her mouth. I'm like, no! No! No, no, no. He is not doing that. So... Ugh, I just... I remember the drawing. It was so gross. Stop. Uh, my favorite characters were probably Undyne, Metatony X. I even made a play about Undertale because I was so obsessed with it. And I never did it. And oh my gosh, I look back at it now and it was it's so weird. It makes me cringe. It makes me cringe so badly. It was so weird. It was, oh my gosh. I could show you guys, but then again, it's in the same notebook that's missing that has the Metaton drawing in it. So again, I can't show you guys the picture or whatever. Read it out loud. My next phase was probably, um, my playlist can judge because, uh, I can't really, uh, find them well. So my next phase was probably, um... Where is it at? My next one was probably Baldi's Basics, I think. Uh, and once again, she's not a psycho. Who would say that I'm a psycho because of that? Well, so anyways, anyways, sh anyways, um, first of all, when I found Baldi out on the internet, I'm like, okay, he's a little creepy, I don't like him, he's a little spoopy, and just, ah. So, I was, um... I didn't like the game at first because it was scary. What? Oh, okay, never mind. So, I was just like, okay, Baldi's scary, but then just like, okay, this isn't too bad. Then I'm just like, okay, Baldi's cute. I like him now. So, oh my gosh, I don't even know why. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I felt like... There was those people who were like, they're obsessed with him and they make like OCs, like, like kissing him or whatever. I'm like, ew. So then I found, I was just like, okay, I'm starting to develop feelings for him and I'm like, I love him. So I obviously don't love him anymore because, ew. I found out that he's pretty disgusting in yeah. some ways. Liam. So, um, yeah, I don't remember who brought me to the Baldi phase. I think it was just myself. For the Undertale phase, I don't know either. For the DC phase, it was... TV? I don't know what it was. So, uh, lots of these phases I, like, I brought myself into most of the time. Um, I don't really have much to say for the Baldi phase. It wasn't really too bad because I didn't stay in it for too long. And, uh, yeah. So, my next phase was probably, uh, I don't know why I keep saying probably, so. My next phase was Five Nights at Freddy's. My friend Blaine brought me into that one, so shout-outs to him, because I found my favorite character, Mangle. I don't know about her, I'm just gonna say Mangle is a her, don't hate on me for it, but Mangle, she is gorgeous, bro. She's gorgeous. She's been through so much, and I found out that the ghost that possesses Mangle is one of their dead dogs, I think. So, that was better than a child being murdered? I mean, it's a bad thing that they got murdered. Can you, like, go away? So, I, um... I'm getting sidetracked again. So, he brought me into the phase by, uh, like, saying, like, uh, introducing me to the song Break My Mind. And I was just like, okay, this is pretty cool. And then I started to find out about the Left Behind song. And I was just like, okay, I like this even more. And that inspired me to draw some dark... It didn't inspire me to draw dark things. But it started to make me feel like I was going 
insane. The reason why I say insane is because I, I wasn't really going insane. I just felt like I was going to go like... Cuckoo? Yeah, cu cuckoo, I guess. Um, I think they mean the same thing, but who cares? Um, my next... my. I can't talk. Later on, I found Ballora and stuff like that, and I really wanted to play the game, and I installed it, and it wasn't even that scary, actually. I mean, FNAF 4 is scary as heck. That scared me so many times. Like, jeez. Oh my gosh, like, you open the door, nobody's there, you close it, you open the door, and boom, jump scare in your face. It freaking scares me. So, I haven't played the games in a while, but, um, I should probably play that again. I should probably also do, like, a um, reacting, reacting thing to it, so, um, yeah. Probably not gonna do it, though, because I'm probably gonna forget, but I don't care. So, uh, I would, I would watch a lot of Mangle-related stuff, and I was just like, Mangle is top tier, she's awesome. Mm -hmm. So, I was just like, I don't know how long my FNAF phase lasted, it probably lasted for a while, and like I said, Blaine introduced me to it, so, yeah. Next one is probably Nightcore and I'm just gonna say Nightcore and Pentatonix because it's introduced by the same person that uh, introduced me to it. So one of my friends, I don't know if I should say his name or not, but um, they're they're um, I forgot their YouTube name, but I think it was like last time I checked, there was like the three personalities or like Snowy or something like that, I, Kai the Weirdo or something like that. I don't remember what it was, but. Um, they brought me into Nightcore, uh, I sort of like Nightcore a whole bunch, I'm just like, okay, Nightcore is awesome, I love it. So, then came Pentatonix, and they introduced me to Pentatonix, and I stayed in my Pentatonix phase more, and still, I wouldn't really say it's a phase though, because they're a literal, they're people, so... It's called being a fan, so I wouldn't really say it's a phase, but I would say Nightcore is a phase, because... You can go on and out of Nightcore, and, um, yeah, so, Nightcore, it's not too bad, I mean, I used to listen to Nightcore, it's not too bad at all, really, uh, I don't really say, I don't really find anything bad about Nightcore, I mean, yeah, sure, it can be pretty high-pitched sometimes, but, Nightcore is pretty awesome, but I like Daycore more, something's wrong with me. <laughs> My next phase... Oh boy, creepy pasta! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, I don't know. I, I was in the. Oh, 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 grass on seeds! Wow. So, creepy pasta. I stayed in that phase for a long time, but I had to get out of it because then again, I was feeling like I was gonna go insane. Mm -hmm. And Clockwork was my favorite character, so I drew a picture of her, but I sadly don't have it anymore. I don't know where it went to. I wish I had it because, oh my gosh, I loved it. And I had it in my locker for 6th and 7th grade, mainly 6th grade. So that tells you that I was in there for a while, too. And Creepypasta? I don't remember who introduced me to that. I think I think Blade did, too. I'm not sure who introduced me. If any of my friends are watching this, please tell me who introduced me to Creepypasta, because I have no idea. At first, I don't know who introduced me to it, but then, now I know who introduced me to Creepypasta in the present, so... In the past, I had a... I was a huge fan of Clockwork, like, she was my favorite top... A 10 out of 10 of Clockwork. So, I, like I said, drew a picture of her, and... No, I've never killed anybody, but... I mean... I don't know if it's just me, but, like, I have a feeling, like, it's, like, you want to kill people? I mean, it's not bad. It's a bad thing to feel like that. I know that, but not, like, oh, I'm gonna do this tonight or anything like that. No, it's not like that. So, I just felt like I was gonna go insane, like, any moment if I watched Creepypasta or read Creepypasta or listened to music like that. So, I'm just, like... I think I'm just gonna stay away from that for a bit, so I did, and look at me, I'm back into it, and I've controlled myself. So, um... Explode? Huh? Explode their pants? Okay. So, the person who introduced me to Creepypasta again was the one and only Octavia. She introduced me to Creepypasta again, I'm like, yeah, I remember this. I had a huge phase, and... I don't like it. So then now I'm just like, okay, creepypasta is top best. And I love watching those edits because 
um, a new friend of mine on Instagram. She's very nice. She makes awesome edits of Nurse Ann and Jane. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Creepy Pasta is amazing in my opinion. And yeah, sure, it's dark, but it's awesome, bro. <laughs> Please, if you love horror, uh, Mikhail, look, I found an Enderman. Cool. If you love ho horror. Read Creepypasta or watch Creepypasta. I don't know the difference anymore. So, um, I am currently still, like I said, in my Creepypasta phase. Get, get, get ready, cool. I'm, cre I'm ready, currently get, in my Creepypasta part? phase and I have new favorites. My ready. favorites are Nurse Ann, Jane the Killer, Zero, and I'm wow. okay. I'm okay with Clockwork. I wouldn't say I'm like a huge fan of her or anything, but, um, Jane is probably the most recent one that I have a big fan of, and that's why I picked this as my lock screen. I I put the two together, and I made that. I didn't make the drawings, but like I said, I put it together, and I'm very proud of it. I love it so much. So, um, yeah, I think that's all the phases that I went through that I remember. Um, and like I said, they weren't all organized. They were just phases that I remember having. So, um... Do you guys like creepy pasta or do you guys remember any of your phases? Please comment them down below. Um anyways guys, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe. Bye.